everyone. If you're planning on moving to Argentina or just curious about the expenses, then this video is for you. I currently live in Mendoza, so I'll go over everything from housing, food, and transportation. Keep in mind that these expenses are good for two people, so they could be similar or different to your needs and wants. Without further ado, let's get to it. Rent. Let's start with housing. The cost of renting an apartment here varies depending on the location and the size. In the city center, you can find many apartments and studios that are suitable for single individuals, couples, or families. These apartments usually have one to three bedrooms and come equipped with basic amenities such as air conditioning, heating, kitchen countertop, and a stovetop. The average cost of renting a semi-furnished apartment in the city center ranges from $200 to $400 per month and $500 or more for fully furnished ones. If you're looking for something more upscale or in a prime location, you can expect paying up to $1,500 US dollars per month. If you prefer a more spacious and less hectic living environment, you can consider renting surrounding Mendoza City's neighborhood such as Guaymagen, Maipu, or Godoy Cruz. The cheapest and most decent you can find will cost around $150 per month or less. And it can either be semi or non-furnished, which is where we are living right now. Chakras de Coria is a district located in Luján de Cuyo. The housing in Chakras de Coria is quite varied with options ranging from small apartments to modest houses to large luxury homes and estates. This is where you can find many gated communities that offer residents access to shared amenities such as swimming pools, tennis courts, and fitness centers. These communities typically feature large upscale homes with landscaped gardens, swimming pools, and private security. At the moment, we reside in a semi-furnished apartment unit with a parking space in the city center with a contractual obligation of three years, which requires us to pay a monthly sum of 125,000 Argentine pesos. And due to inflation, this situation has been advantageous for us. Initially, we were paying around $200 per month, but after a few months, the cost dropped to $50 per month. It is highly likely that the price may further decrease in the next few months due to continuous inflation and every year the landlord will evaluate and potentially adjust their rent leaving us with uncertainty like a game of chance please note that the rental payments will be made in argentine pesos and the us dollar rate is only for your general reference purposes overall the housing in mendoza is diverse and can cater to different needs and budgets However, it is essential to do your research and visit the properties in person before making a final decision. It's also recommended to work with a reputable real estate agent who can provide you with guidance and support throughout the process. The best way to look at properties online is through these platforms. The link can be found in the description below. Utility bills. The cost of these utility bills such as electricity, water, and gas can vary depending on your usage. We spend most of the time at home since we are working online and sometimes host dinners for our friends and on a monthly average we pay about $6 for water, $10 for Wi-Fi, $12 for electricity, and $2 for gas which includes the water heater, heating radiator system, stove, and oven. I find it easy to pay the bills in person because you can pay it online and there are several payment centers throughout Mendoza and are usually located in supermarkets around the block or in other public places. Transportation Mendoza has a fairly good public transportation system that includes buses and trains. Buses are most common form of public transportation here and there are many different bus lines that run throughout the city. The cost of getting a bus to wherever you are stopping is relatively inexpensive. For 500 pesos in 2024, which is around 50 cents per ride, taxis and the rideshare app Cabify are also an option. And the average cost for a 5 kilometer ride is 3 to 5 US dollars. Moreover, this city has become increasingly bicycle friendly 
with a growing number of residents and visitors choosing to explore its streets and attractions in two wheels. If you're keen, a new bicycle will cost around $130. If you prefer to drive, the cost of gasoline is around $1.10 per liter. And if you're looking to purchase a secondhand vehicle, which is a car, I suggest you to check out Facebook's marketplace. You can find some as low as $4,000 for a decent one, but do beware of scams. Groceries! Moving on to food. Argentina is famous for its meat, wine, and empanadas. You can find plenty of affordable restaurants and cafes with prices ranging from $2 to $10 per meal per person. And if you prefer cooking at home, the cost of groceries is also quite affordable. For example, a kilo of beef costs around $2 to $8 depending on the cut and size. A liter of milk is close to a dollar. And you can find wine that costs as low as $3 and a dozen of eggs are around $1.80. I recommend that you purchase the freshest vegetables and fruits from local shops like this one as they are more affordable than what you would find in supermarkets. Based on my calculations, the average monthly grocery spending for two people, which includes basic necessities, amounts to approximately 300 to 500 US dollars. Lifestyle and entertainment. If you're looking for fun things to do in this city, you're maybe in luck. In my opinion, I find that there are limited options, but there's something for everyone here from cultural events to outdoor adventures. You can catch live concerts, watch live football matches, theater performances, dance shows, and art exhibitions throughout the year, thanks to Mendoza's thriving cultural scene. You can easily find event information on websites like entradaweb.com.ar with entrance fees ranging from free to $10 or more depending on the venue and event type. And if you're more of an outdoor person, there are plenty of activities to choose from like hiking, biking, horseback riding, and paragliding. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even try water rafting in San Rafael. Prices for these activities vary, but you can expect to pay anywhere between free to $50 onwards per person, depending on what you're looking to do. But that's not all. Mendoza's nightlife is pretty lit too. You'll find lots of bars and clubs that stay open until late. Just keep in mind that drink prices and cover charges can range depending on where you go and what night it is. And let's not forget about the little extras like catching a flick at the cinema for $3 per person, hitting up the gym for a monthly fee of around $20, or treating yourself to a body massage starting at $8. And if you're in need of a hair or nail service, these prices typically range from $6 to $30 per service. Eating out. Eating out here can be a fantastic experience. Whether you're looking for a quick bite or a romantic dinner, you can find everything from fast food joints to high-end gourmet restaurants. And here are some of the most popular types of restaurants in Mendoza. Number one, parillas are Argentine steakhouses that specialize in grilled meats. They offer a wide range of cuts from flank to steak to sirloin to chorizos. Prices for a meat at a parilla can range from $10 to $30 per dish, depending on the restaurant's quality and location. Number two, bodegas are wineries that offer wine tastings and food pairings. Many bodegas have restaurants that serve traditional Argentine dishes. The prices for a meal at the bodega can range from $10 to $50 per person, depending on the quality of the food and wine. Number three, cafes is a thriving culture scene here, with many cafes serving delicious pastries, sandwiches, and drinks. Prices for a meal at a cafe can range from a dollar to seven dollars per person. Overall, the cost of eating out in Mendoza is relatively affordable compared to other major cities. You can find inexpensive fast food options for as little as three dollars per meal, while a meal at a mid-range Restaurant can cost between $10 to $20 per person. A high-end gourmet restaurant can cost between $40 to $60 per person. Healthcare. Finally, let's talk about healthcare. Argentina has a public healthcare system that is available to everyone. 
This system is funded through taxes and provides free or low-cost medical care at public hospitals and clinics. But it can be quite crowded and the quality of care can vary. In Mendoza, there are several public hospitals and clinics that offer a wide range of medical services, including emergency care, outpatients, consultations, and surgeries. The cost of public health care is relatively low with most services being free or requiring only a small co-payment. I recently went to a clinic here and the consultation fee cost $6. Private healthcare here is generally of high quality with modern facilities and highly trained medical professionals. If you prefer this, you can expect to pay around $15 to $80 per month for prepaid health insurance. Health insurance policies are available through private providers and can provide a range of medical services, including consultations, diagnostic tests, and surgeries. So to sum up, the cost of living in Argentina is quite affordable compared to other countries. However, keep in mind that the prices can vary depending on the city and your lifestyle. Buenos Aires is the most expensive city in the country. So if you're on a tight budget, you might want to consider other cities. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. See you in the next video. Bye!